Now today's knife review, it's really not going to be a matter of, you know, whether or not I like the Civivi Brigand. It has more to do with how much I like the Civivi Brigand. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel, and consider clicking on subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Right now, you should be looking at some specs on the screen. Now, these are measurements that I have personally taken myself, but don't worry, I'll also list them down in the uh, description below, just in case you wanna follow along throughout this review. All right, let's go ahead and uh, size this bad boy up with some, some other knives, and we'll start out with the uh, Spyderco PM2. And then trailing close behind is going to be the Para 3. How about a couple Benchmades and the 940 and then the, the Bug Out. And the last one is going to be from Kershaw and it is the Skyline. Starting with the blade, which happens to be just a gorgeous, check that out, gorgeous Warncliffe with a really, really kind of a high flat grind. Now I know th this next part, this is going to sound kind of stupid, but the tip here of this blade is crazy, crazy sharp. Oh yeah. I mean, it is like, it's like a sewing needle because when I was checking the edge, just to see, I mean, just, just tapping on it and this baby's ready to draw blood. Very sharp. Now I brought in the, the backlash here so I can uh, make my point. So if we look at the, at the forward choil, I really like the way that Civivi, how you see how this choil and it, it, it kind of cuts into the flipper as opposed to like being out in front of the flipper tab like it is here on the, uh, on the backlash. I, I like that for, well, a few reasons. Not only does it give you, it gives you a, a much larger choil, a much larger space for your index finger, but it also takes away less, a little bit less uh, sharpened edge from the blade. And as long as we're talking about that, that, that flipper tab, I, I have to tell you, you see how it's there? It's like a little bit rounded. This is the most comfortable flipper tab I've ever used in my life. No crap. I mean, it is so comfortable. I could take a nap on this thing. It feels, it feels that good. Now I have not I have not made any like any adjustments to the uh, to the pivot. I haven't added any kind of of oil yet. The action in well in both directions is is fantastic, and this thing has barely any lubrication on it. And of course, for those of you that like to do that uh, that that fingernail closure like I like to do, no trouble here. I am happy to report that the the detent and the the ball bearing pivot they're both they're both definitely doing their job because it is very difficult for me to fail the deployment I mean and I'm really trying no I can't get it and I'm unable to oh yeah that retention is really good I want to go ahead and, and, and show you the, the scales here and look at that. It's like, it's, it's like that. It's really like extra wide chamfering and you can see it goes all the way around the, uh, this black G10, but it, you know, not only do I think it looks good, but man, does it provide just a super comfortable grip. It's going to be just the, you know, the standard uh, pocket clip that Civivi uses, which is going to be just a uh, tip up only, but bam, yep, lefty love. How about that? Just when you thought it couldn't get any better. And I really appreciate that they don't just slap on the same size pocket clip, regardless of the design of the knife. I, so if you look here at the, uh, at the backlash, you know, they're, they're not all that, the knives are not all that different in size, but yet they used a shorter one here on a Brigand than they did on the uh, Backlash. And I like that. Now, before we go ahead and uh, weigh this, I just wanted to show you that it is, so you can see it is, uh, it's backspacer construction. And if you take a look on the inside, 
right there and right there. Yep, both liners have been skeletonized in an effort to keep that weight down. Let's see how they did. They did very good, 3.7 ounces, which is gonna roughly be about one, two, three, four, about four AA batteries. Well, oh, look at that, same weight as the uh, Spyderco PM2. Okay, now here's my, here's my favorite part uh, where we get to go ahead and see how well that this three millimeter thick blade stock, let's see how well it cuts. Oh my God. Oh, are you kidding me? Did you see that? I exerted next to zero effort. Okay, so now I gotta do this now. I have to. I love cutting these things up, these Amazon envelopes. Watch this. Just a lazy stroll through the park, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that is such a good time. Now, as far as dislikes go, uh, there's actually, well, there's one tiny issue. And now it's regarding that, that tip because Remember how I said it's like it's like super super pointy, super sharp. Well, that's going to come at a cost. That cost being Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, that is a very thin very thin delicate tip. So, not that you should be prying stuff with this anyways, but definitely, you know, don't want to do it with this knife. I gotta say, this this might actually be my new my new favorite uh, Warncliffe blade. I would love to know what yours is. Uh, just let me know down in the comment section below. Now, according to uh, Wikipedia, uh, Brigand is an outlaw or a bandit, which really is is a fitting name because Savivi is asking sixty dollars for this. Sixty dollars. That is that's practically stealing. Now, even though like I'm not nuts about Warncliffe blades, like I'm not like super in love with them. I mean, they're you know they're they're fine. Um, you know, I don't dislike them. They're just not my favorite blade shape. But this brigand, this replaces the uh, the Duras as my favorite Civivi knife. That's how much. I like this thing. By the way, I have previously reviewed the Duras, so if you look up into the corner, you click on that card and you can watch my, my full video on this. I'll be sure to go ahead and include uh, the link uh, down below to Amazon, uh, just in case if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, which if you can't tell, I highly recommend you do like right now. Like this is one of those knives where I want to get every color option available. That's how much I like the Brigand. So if you enjoyed this video, you got any value from it, hey, how about a thumbs up? I like them. And don't forget, click on subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.